Let me explain. Glorious comes in and drops the Model O. Everyone talks about it, everybody loves it. People are calling it the perfect mouse. And it's hard to disagree. At $50, you get an insanely light mouse, an insanely accurate sensor, great clicks, Glorious's version of Hyperglides, and a paracord. What's not to love? But is that enough? None of the things that are on this mouse are new. What is Glorious bringing to the market with this? As far as I can tell, it's just the price point. So, Glorious, where do you go from here? By all accounts, this is a great mouse. This is your first mouse coming to market, and I think you've knocked it out of the park. But it's borrowing from a lot of other people's work. Again, the design, Zowie FK1 within a millimeter. The sensor is an industry standard, top of the line sensor. The weight borrowed from concepts that Final Mouse brought to the market. If this is the final version of the Model O, where do we go from here? If this has already been perfected, as many people will say, what's next? What, what do you bring to the table? How am I supposed to be excited about what Glorious still has to offer? Glorious did not send this model out for review. I purchased this on my own because I wanted to understand what it meant to have a $50 option in the ultralight market after owning and using an Air 58 for so long. There are matte and glossy, black and white versions available, but I am only reviewing the black version because I'm just a dude. I can't afford four, four different identical mice. Sorry. I agree with others when they say that shape trumps weight. Luckily, Glorious has that on both counts. Recently, Rocket Jump Ninja developed a new system where you measure the width of your inner three fingers, so your index, middle, and ring finger, and the length of your middle finger, including the knuckle, to find what you might like in a mouse. The inner three fingers correspond to the grip width, and the length of your middle finger corresponds to the mouse's length. And this, for me, using a fingertip grip, falls perfectly in line with that. I'm 57.5 millimeters wide and 117.5 millimeters long. And this is pretty much perfectly in line with that, if not a little too long. I highly recommend you check out that RJN 3.0 video. I'll put a link in the description down below. The dude is a genius. Uh, let's just leave it at that. Check him out. The paracord on the Model O is acceptable. I affectionately refer to it as the shoelace. However, it does sit further away from the internal wires. It's a little bit puffier. Um, and that, for me, as I feel down the wire, means that kinks can happen inside of the cord itself that you cannot really tell exist from the outside. About right here on my mouse, there appears to be some winding of the internal cable that is a little concerning to me with the Air 58 or other paracorded mice. This paracord is much smaller. It sits closer to the internal wires, which doesn't give them enough freedom to really twist themselves. This could be a manufacturing defect for mine and mine alone. I'd like to hear what other people's experiences are, but it seems like a smaller paracord and better attention to the internal cord staying straight, especially during packaging, would serve Glorious well. Another thing people really like to discuss when talking about the Model O is the G-Skates. They are made from the same material as the Hyperglide PTFE. However, mine definitely needed breaking in. Uh, it took a number of hours for them to have the same feel that the Hyperglides do. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you buy this and out of the box you don't feel like they are actually 
on the same level as hyperglides, give it some time. It has an ambidextrous shape and therefore good weight distribution, but it only has buttons on the left, which means it will favor those who use their thumb for side button use. There is a fair amount of flex with this, uh, as to be expected. If I squeeze from the top, I can actually depress the DPI switching button. You can even see the light change. And if I squeeze from the sides, I can press one of the side buttons. I don't really expect this to happen in game, but under duress, it's possible you can press a button you might not have meant to. And I'm not applying much force here either. I actually find the mouse wheel to be one of the brighter spots of the Model O. It has 24 steps, it's easy to click, it's well tensioned, all around a very pleasing feeling. I think the packaging is actually great. If I'm gonna be ordering a mouse, I would like it to come protected. The final mouse packaging, which weighs in at about 80 grams, pales in comparison to the 140 gram Model O packaging. And if you looked up any of the horror stories for final mouse deliveries, you'll know that these often came completely crushed. There's really no chance of that with the Model O. My specific model did come with a tiny bit of damage at the top, but I can have every confidence that the mouse inside is not going to be affected. The software that comes with this mouse is entirely optional, and it's somewhat basic, as you would expect. You don't need much from a mouse quite like this. The Air 58 came with none whatsoever, and never felt as though any was required. So really, the only purpose that this serves for me is changing the lighting. RGB lighting really doesn't mean that much to me, I don't see myself using it in the long term, and you can even remove the LED strips to save an extra 4 grams if you're okay with voiding the warranty. Looking at you, Batseed. Now for a sound test. Cheap mice shouldn't be this good, and that's not a bad thing. I definitely applaud Glorious for being able to bring such a great mouse to the market at the $50 price point. I'm just really wanting to see what's next. I'll be looking to open a dialogue with Glorious not only about this mouse, but also about their future projects. So stay tuned for upcoming videos on that. All right, that's all for now. As always, I hope this video earned your subscription, and if it was informative or helped you think more about a company's responsibility in the marketplace, uh, leave a like. In fact, on my model, if I squeeze the sides enough, I can get the side buttons to click. Listen. Uh oh. That was weird.